got these um five dollars for like pasta that i'm gonna fill up with something i got this which is roasted red peppers gonna make a sauce with that i have these things where you can like just add alcohol to them just kind of crazy yeah like you literally just fill this with vodka and let it sit yeah, it's kind of cool though but classic cosmopolitan just add vodka Can I get this? Huh. really don't have no food up in here that is crazy i always remember them having more food it's like i'm surprised they have so much pasta but I haven't found any like pasta sauce and I swear to god they used to serve pasta sauce or serves that have it. Fig product. Lots of figs. Figs seems to be a theme in here. Also like nice honey. I'm back from Marshalls. And I got this stuff. And I spent about $27, uh, but I went to Marshall's. I spent $27 and 60 cents. Um, I did buy a pan that I don't think I'm gonna use, but I got a pan um, just for my, my general cooking. Um, so everything, if we subtract that $9.99 that I paid for the pan, everything came out to about $17, which you can't beat that. Um, I also stayed under my $30 budget, but I'm gonna show you what I got. So we're gonna make a pasta dish because that's really all the food they have at Marshalls is pasta related. So I got this, um, these big ass macaroni shells. Um, conchiligoni. Conchiglioni, conchiglioni. I think that's how you say it, conchiligoni. I don't speak Italian, I dropped out of it after a week. Um, yeah. Very excited about this. Says it only takes about 10 minutes to cook, so can't beat that, right? Um, and then they didn't have tomato sauce, which I thought was kind of weird, because like, why so many pasta things? Because they had like gnocchi, they had risotto, they had um, like other types of pastas that I don't know the name for, but just a bunch of different pastas, but no tomato sauce. Which, tomato sauce is fairly um, non-perishable, so I don't get it. But... I'm gonna replace that, the fact that they didn't have this, with um, these roasted red peppers. Also, yes, I'm missing nails. Um, these roasted red peppers, which I'm just gonna toss them in my blender. They have garlic in it as well, so I think it's gonna have a good flavor. Um, and then they're pickled, so that's gonna be nice. Um, I think it's gonna be really tasty, but I'm gonna blend this up and make this my sauce. And then I have this wild pink salmon. Um, which I'm going to stuff into these peppers, or peppers, I'm going to stuff it into my food in some capacity. Um, we'll figure this out. <laughs> I feel like if anything is going to make my stomach hurt and or kill me, it's going to be this. Even though it says it's not expired until April 28th of 2027, so like, I'm good. I just, I've never had canned salmon like this. Um, I've had canned salmon before, but like from a reputable brand. <laughs> I don't know this brand, so we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> um, if not, I'm assuming Marshalls, I guess. Um, and then I got a little drink to go with my food. This is the Coconut Coco, Coco Zim Organic Coconut Water. I just like coconut water and I was like, why not? So yeah, that is what we're making our meal with today. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid using outside products, so like vegetables and things like that, um, just because the concept is we're just making the food with what we have at Marshall's. Um, I'm regretting not buying pesto. Now that I think about all of this, I should have bought some pesto, but oh well, life goes on. Oh, I'm gonna be using seasonings out of my cabinet though, because I'm gonna be using seasonings out of my cabinet, <laughs> and I'm gonna be using flour, probably, so. Everything else though, straight from Marshalls. So I have these four products to uh, get me through a dinner. So are gonna be our whole meal. Very exciting. They also had a lot of like sweet stuff and I thought about getting a dessert, but 
I didn't want to spend like forty dollars to be honest, because the desserts were kind of expensive. It was like six dollars for like some waffle cone chocolate things. They look good, but like no thanks. With <laughs> next clip is gonna be me prepping. Even better than mama. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the way that you're supposed to make pasta, which is literally you boil the water first. So we're gonna bring. I don't know if this is four to six quarts. I have no idea. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Um, but in the meantime, we're gonna add one to two tablespoons of salt, which is literally what this says. Um, and then I think I'm only gonna do like half of this pasta. At first I was gonna do all of it, but then I was like, mm, let's be realistic. Let's be a little more realistic, but we're gonna add the salt. I added, I added the salt off camera cause like who cares? But look at the little shell. Look at the inside. Oh, or don't, or don't. Focus. But yeah, here's here's a shell. Oh, boom! There we go. Like, look at how wow detail. Even though I mean, I guess that's just a preservative. But crazy. They said no. Don't cook us. Somebody's gotta get cooked, babes, and it's not gonna be me. I'm just gently putting these in. You know, all right, half the bag. All right, boom. Now we have half of a bag worth of what are these conchalagonis? The pasta in here. We are gonna let her do her thing, aka boil, cook, if you will, for about 10 minutes. Oh, I have my handy dandy, um. Actually, how do I do this? There's a timer on here. Ah, maybe where it says kitchen timer. Okay, anyway, $3.99 for um, wild pink salmon from Marshalls. In can, skinless, boneless, low in fat, high in protein, good source of vitamin D. Again, never in my life have I heard of this brand, but they said they've been around since 19. Oh! <laughs> It smells fine. I just, as soon as I opened it, it was Juice City, bro. This is so crazy. Why am I doing this? Okay, so this is what it looks like out of the package. Um, I shouldn't have made like that throw up noise because it does not smell. It literally just smells like salmon. Um, but it does look a little quest questionable um, and a little strange, but it's literally just salmon in a can. But I'm going to season it up. Um, and I think I'm gonna add like some flour or some cornmeal or something. I don't know. It just, it needs something to have like a little more depth because it's literally just skinless, boneless salmon. Okay, so this is the salmon. Um, all I've done so far is just like separated it. Um, I think I'm gonna put like egg or something in it so it has like a binder. Uh, but I just broke it up with my fork and then I added in three seasonings just to start. I may add different ones. Um, the three seasonings that I added were Tony Chacher, Chacher, I don't know how to say that, but some Tony, um, coarse ground black pepper from our good friend Costco, and then some Old Bay. No tajin. Tajin is just here. And just for reference, you do not need to use these seasonings. You can use the seasonings they sell at Marshall's. <laughs> I just wasn't buying that. But you can use those. Okay, so I'm gonna put an egg into the salmon. I think I'm just gonna do the egg white so that it doesn't become like an egg dish. I hope that makes sense. That pasta is done. I was gonna say the leaves, but the shells look kind of big now. That's fine though, they're gonna get stuffed. And then we're gonna eat them anyway. Ta-da, drained pasta. And in the spirit of things being worse than I thought they were, these things are huge now that they are fully um, cooked. Look at how big that is. I don't have enough salmon for all of these. I don't know what I'm going to do. Also, speaking of salmon, I went ahead and I put a little bit of flour in here. Um, I would say like maybe half of a cup. And then I also went ahead and put in the same seasonings as before since the flour is not introduced. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll be rocking with now. All right, it's like two, three days later. <laughs> 
Um, I got a new thing in my background. This cute little um, vinyl art thing. And I look crazy because I shook my braids out. Um, but we're literally about to pour, pour this into the blender. Um, this is roasted red peppers, red pepper strips, excuse me. Um, let's smell it. it. Smells like roasted red peppers. <laughs> like it smells kind of like smoky, but like smoky in the way that like roasted stuff smells. And then I'm assuming this is olive oil that it's in. Water, sugar, salt, garlic, acidity regulator, and acetic acid. So this is not olive oil. Cool. Let's put it in the blender. I also saved um, quite a bit of the pepper pepper solution of the pepper sauce um, just because I kind of want to drown them in it more like once they're cooked just because you know the peppers are definitely gonna the peppers that are gonna go in the oven are gonna dry down or the pepper sauce that's gonna be in the oven um, I'm a little concerned though because I really don't know what this is gonna taste like like of course I'm under the impression that it's gonna be like savory um but i just i don't know i feel like i've never had anything that has like peppers in it to this degree usually like red peppers are just kind of like a you know like a like a side not a side dish but like a element within something which this this is but you know it's a lot more since it's the sauce doctor this dish up if you weren't gonna do this um i would get like sweet potato um sweet potato cheese to like stuff in the peppers um definitely cheese or to stuff in the the shells um and then just tomato sauce you know maybe still do the red pepper but then have some tomato sauce as well like mix them together um yeah and like some fresh herbs but we'll see what this tastes like because i really don't know <laughs> Oh, jump, jump scare. scare. <laughs>